Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and I've got another Fright Rags shirt unpackaging video for you guys today. As you all know, I love Fright Rags. I've done countless Fright Rags unpackaging videos on this channel. I wear Fright Rag shirts in a lot of my videos. Top quality shirts with some of the best artwork and designs, hands down, of any company manufacturing horror shirts. And one of the things I love about Fright Rags the most, they do not leave out us big and tall customers. They have shirts up to size 5X. So even us big and tall folk, Fright Rags has not forgotten about us. Now this shirt was part of a Midnight Madness sale that Fright Rags recently had. This is a Friday the 13th shirt. And when I saw the design, or I should say designs on the front and back of this shirt, I was sold and I had to pick up this shirt. And it was pretty well priced, I have to say as well. It's 20 bucks. And from the image on the website, it looked like all that and more so let's go ahead and tear this bad boy open and take a look at it um, up close and personal live and in the flesh <clears throat> all righty let's see Ooh, that looks good that looks very good let's see is, the, is there a candy in here Always with Fright Rags. Free prize inside. Let's see what we got. Let's see what kind of candy it is. I'm sure it's another one of those warheads. And ooh, the last one. Oh, this is cool. Got a sticker here with Alice Cooper, part of their um, a Man Behind the Mask, Alex Cooper, Alice Cooper, <laughs> forgive me, and Jason Voorhees uh, mashup shirts. Very nice, very nice. Actually, that was the last Fright Rags unpackaging video I did was for one of these shirts, as a matter of fact. And let's see, something, got another card in here. Oh, it's time, Michael. Got a scene there from Halloween 2. Fright Film Facts. Dick Warlock is the shortest Michael Myers in the entire series. He wore lifts to appear taller. Okay. The more you know. Now let's see what kind of candy we got in here. We have got a Warheads Blue Raspberry. If you guys remember last time I I went with the uh, the Warheads candy and I just had like some sort of usually very sour candy doesn't bother me but now the last time I was so I'll save this for after the video. Let's take a look at this shirt. Oh man. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. This is the Fright Rags Victims and Survivors Friday the 13th shirt. And as you can see here on the front, you have a collage of all the victims, or at least victims, I think up to, I want to say the final chapter are represented in here. Yep, we've got a bunch of victims all from the first four Friday the 13th films, but that looks really cool. I hope, I hope I'm doing it justice uh, on camera there. I may even flip the camera around and give you guys a closer look because that is a really cool collage of all of Jason and Mrs. Voorhees' victims from the first four Friday the 13th films. Now on the back of the shirt, we have the survivors from the first four Friday the 13th films. That is really cool. Now there's Tommy, there's Alice, there's Trish. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's Amy Steele. Oh yeah. This is so cool. This is a really awesome design. I love the front of it. That collage is just so cool. They did a really good job with this collage. 
I mean, oh my goodness. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> that's a, that's great. That is awesome. Fright rags. Oh, so cool. And again, the back there with the survivors from the first four films. Oh, I just, I just spotted Crispin Glover there in the middle, getting the, um, the meat cleaver to the face. <laughs> this is so cool. I think I'm going to flip the camera around and give you guys a nice up close and personal look at this shirt and at the collage here because I just don't think I'm doing it justice um, this way. So I'll flip the camera around and we'll take an up close and personal look at this cool shirt. All right, and here is the front of the Fright Rags Friday the 13th Victims and Survivors shirt. These are, of course, the victims of Mrs. Voorhees and Jason from the first four Friday the 13th films. And it's kind of like a Where's Waldo to find your favorite victim from the first four movies. Of course, there's Crazy Ralph, there's Shelly, um, there's Kevin Bacon. Um, in the head there is the guy who gets cut in half in part three. Just below him is the poor guy in the wheelchair who takes the machete in the face in part two. Um, you've got the, <laughs> the guy who gets his eyeball popped out. Just below him, you've got Crispin Glover who takes the meat cleaver to the face. Oh my God, they've got the, the hitchhiker woman there from part four. Um, oh man. <laughs> and I love how they squeezed them all inside this uh, poster image from Friday the 13th part one. Um, oh, this is just so cool. I could just sit and stare at this for, for a while and just point out all the victims. But um, oh, this is so cool. Yeah, this is just a really, really cool shirt. Um, oh, man. Yeah, I, I will be wearing this shirt a lot. So let's flip it around. Let's take a look at the reverse of the shirt with the survivors. All right, here is the back of the Friday the 13th Fright Rags Victims and Survivors shirt. And these are, of course, the survivors from the first four Friday the 13th films. You've got Alice, you've got Jenny, you've got Tommy, you've got Trish. I forget the lady's name from part three, and I just watched part three the other day as part of our 35th anniversary live commentary over on the Sausage Factory that we did with special guests Peter Brackey and Sean Richards. If you guys missed that, Follow the link in the description, head over to the Sausage Factory, and uh, check that out. That was a lot of fun, but I can't believe I've forgotten her character's name from Part 3 already. But really cool design here. All of these survivors in the knife. I Fright rags, you've outdone yourselves. This is just a great idea for a shirt. Just a great idea for a shirt to have all the victims on one side, the survivors on the other, and to squeeze them inside of uh, a knife and, of course, of inside the, the body from the poster of the original Friday the 13th was just a brilliant touch, I think. And, um, yeah, really excited to, uh, to show this shirt off at some upcoming conventions and, of course, to wear it um, in a lot of upcoming videos as well so kudos fright rags you guys have done it again another great shirt if you guys out there were able to get your hands on this shirt please let me know what you think of it in the comments section below let me know what shirts that you'd like to see fright rags produce in the future and what your favorite um, fright rag shirts from the past are down in the comments section below. If you like the video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here somewhere. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Hmm. This Blue Raspberry Warhead is pretty darn good, I have to say. 
Not bad at all. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.